Ben Campbell, an MIT math student, is introduced at the start of the film. He is a superb student who has been accepted to Harvard Medical School to pursue a medical degree. Regretfully, he lacks the funds to cover Harvard's $300,000 tuition. He has thus submitted an application for the Robinson Scholarship, which will enable him to pay for all of his educational costs. The Harvard dean interviews Ben in the scenario that follows. He talks about his 4.0 GPA perfect MCAT scores and leadership roles in several clubs. Ben also said that he and several pals are working together on a robotics project Project for a tournament that is coming up. The dean retorts that only one of the 76 equally qualified applicants will be awarded the scholarship. He highlights the fierce competition, saying the scholarship would only be awarded to the student who most impresses him. After that, Ben shows up at his job as a salesperson at a clothes store. His supervisor notifies him that he has been given a promotion to assistant manager and will henceforth be paid $8 per hour. Miles, Ben's closest friend, inquires as to what transpired because Ben doesn't appear very happy despite this. Subsequently, Ben expresses his annoyance at not having any noteworthy experiences to include in his admission essay. He tells how he has worked hard in school his entire life to earn this opportunity, and that money is now the only thing preventing him from realizing his aspirations. Ben and Miles meet up with their other friend Cam in a bar later that night. The three of them enjoy themselves as they celebrate Ben's 21st birthday. They also talk about their plan to construct a self-driving automobile and enter it in the robotics competition. A few days later, Ben is in an advanced math class where Professor Mickey Rosa asks the class a difficult question. Ben has a pretty smart response, while the other pupils are perplexed. The professor is impressed and awards him extra credit as a result. Mickey is even more shocked when he discovers after class that Ben recently passed his nonlinear equations test with a 97%. Ben is studying one evening in an empty library when Fisher, one of the students, comes up to him and asks to follow. Soon after, they enter a room where Mickey is seated alongside Kiana, Choi, and Jill three other pupils. They are all members of an exceptionally bright cohort of MIT mathematics students. Mickey then extends an invitation to Ben to play blackjack for MIT. He clarifies that they have a card counting strategy that helps them win a blackjack. To find the likelihood of the next card to be dealt from the deck, add up all of the cards that have been dealt. Their organization has a code and rules structure, with highly defined roles assigned to each member, and frequently performs in Las Vegas. Mickey clarifies that their actions are lawful, and that Ben is welcome to join them because he is intelligent and well-suited for this position. Ben is hesitant, though, and says he should be concentrating on his science competition project and his recent job raise. Even after the group makes every effort to persuade him, he ultimately rejects the offer. Mickey cautions him from telling anyone about the blackjack team before he leaves, saying that doing so could have negative consequences. Jill pays a visit the following day while Ben is working at the store, posing as a customer. However, she immediately adopts a different tone, and makes an effort to persuade him to join their group. She encourages him to step outside of his comfort zone and take some risks. Ben is tempted by this, particularly because he has been crushing on Jill for a time. However, he still asks her to go and rejects her offer once more. The Blackjack squad is seen rehearsing for their upcoming mission in the evening. Mickey poses a question to them, but none of them appear to know the proper response. Ben arrives out of nowhere and impresses everyone by providing the right response. Then, quite unexpectedly, he declares that he wishes to join the group. He is warmly welcomed by the group, who are delighted to have him. After that, they give him a thorough rundown of everything they do, including counting methods signs, and symbols. The crew decides that Ben is now prepared for the test run after preparing for several days. Ben enters the hidden gambling ring when they get there and starts to play. He becomes thrilled as soon as he begins to win a sizable sum of money. Just then, though, a few men pull him into a room while covering his face with a sack. Ben starts to get scared and says he hasn't done anything wrong. But soon after, his bag is taken off, exposing the fact that the goons are actually members of his squad. All they wanted to know was how he handled pressure. He is then told by the group that he has passed away and that they will all be traveling to Las Vegas together. The group travels to Las Vegas the following day, where Mickey gives each member a new identity. Ben is also told by him to pretend that he doesn't know the other members of the team. After that, Ben walks into the casino and boldly wagers $10,000. He doubles the money and keeps winning because of his abilities and training. Ben remains at the table and makes a sizable profit 
while the others quickly give up and go to their rooms. Ben is woken up the following morning and given his portion of the profits by Jill. She notes that he made more money than Fisher and commands his job. Ben replies that he's simply doing this to pay for his Harvard tuition and that he plans to quit as soon as he has enough money. Jill, though, chuckles and observes that everyone makes the same statement. Ben tallies his earnings and conceals them in his ceiling tiles when he gets back to his dorm room. At that moment, Miles and Cam arrive and inquire about his weekend activities. Ben just makes up the story that he neglected to bring his phone when he went to visit his relatives. He and his pals go to a bar in the evening, and while there, they see Jill. With the support of his pals, he approaches her and extends an invitation to have a drink. Later, Jill pushes away from Ben as he tries to kiss her on the train. Ben regrets and says he's sorry but she says she doesn't want to make their working relationship more difficult. The team keeps flying to Las Vegas throughout the course of the following few weekends. They use cooperation and mathematical trickery to win large sums of money. Regretfully, this causes the casino management to get suspicious, since they think the gang is lying. As a result, Cole Williams, the head of security, begins observing Ben closely. Ben and Jill, Meantime, are getting closer every day. Additionally, he continues to make a lot of money, which makes Fisher envious. One evening, Fisher, who is inebriated, breaks their rule by sitting at the same table as Ben and striking up a conversation as if they are friends. He then wets other players with his drink spill on the table, starting a heated argument. Luckily, Ben and his party are able to flee, and the police arrest the other players. After the event, Mickey fires Fisher from the team due to his lack of discipline and incompetence. After hanging out at a hotel nightclub with Jill that evening, Ben and Jill travel to a luxurious suite where they ultimately make love. Over time, Ben's dedication to the blackjack team causes him to become disinterested in his academic pursuits, and to neglect his friendships. He provides Miles and Cam the incorrect microchip for their robots project by accident. Understandably offended by his actions, his pals decide to cut him out of the project. Although Ben is heartbroken, he presents a stern front and says he never gave the initiative any thought in the first place. He loses $200,000 on his subsequent trip to Vegas because he is too preoccupied to get up from the table when told to do so. That evening, Mickey loses it and kicks Ben off the team for not abiding by the rules. In addition, he wants to be paid in full for the money he lost because he was careless. This issue surfaces when Ben goes back to MIT. Ben then advises his three surviving friends to wager the remaining sum of money in an attempt to make up for what they lost. He contends that since Mickey never takes any genuine chances and only keeps 50% of their gains, they don't even need him. He advises them to start their own squad going forward. Although first dubious, the gang eventually comes to appreciate his unwavering perseverance. After that, they go to a casino where they start winning and gradually start to make up for the money they lost. Their good fortune, though, is short-lived as Cole, who Mickey told about, approaches them. Ben is apprehended by Cole right away, while the other members escape the scene. Ben is brought to a hidden chamber in the following scene, where Cole and his accomplice start violently beating him. He says that with the upcoming implementation of facial recognition technology in casinos, their days are numbered. He also discusses his own past relationship with Mickey a former proficient card counter. It turns out that Mickey sacked Cole from his casino after Cole won more than a million dollars in a single night. Ben is finally freed after receiving numerous beatings and is given a strong warning not to return. When Ben returns to the university the following day, he finds that Mickey has failed his course, which means he will not be able to graduate from MIT. He then makes his way back to his fully destroyed dorm room. He finds to his horror that all of his profits from the blackjack hidden in the ceiling have been pilfered. He knows it's Mickey's fault, but he feels powerless and unable to provide any evidence. Later, when Ben pays Jill a visit at a residence, he admits that he has lost everything, including his money, his former acquaintances, and his dream of attending Harvard. He apologizes for his errors and acknowledges that he does not want to lose her. Jill consoles him in her apartment and forgives him in spite of everything everything that has happened. A few days later, Ben witnesses Miles and Cam's project being named the winner in the MIT science competition. As a reward, the two of them win a coveted robotics academic scholarship. Ben meets with Miles after the incident to express his regret for neglecting and leaving them in the middle of the project. He also opens up completely about his Las Vegas trip. Miles promises his pal that he and Cam would always be there for him 
after accepting his apologies. He adds that Ben's exploits in Las Vegas have really pleased him. Later, during an alumni gala, Ben runs into Mickey and apologizes for what transpired. Admitting his desire to rejoin the squad, he suggests a plan to get the money he lost back. Ben advises taking advantage of the last opportunity to gamble before the facial recognition technology is installed in every casino in Las Vegas. In return for the cash, he begs Mickey to restore his academic standing. The handsome sum of money tempts the shrewd professor, who takes the deal. With a fresh strategy in place, the group gets together once more and departs for Las Vegas. Throughout the game, they are able to win $640,000. But when they notice Cole and a few of his men coming to capture them, their luck runs out. With casino chips in hand, the party immediately leaves, and a fierce chase follows. Mickey tells Ben and Jill to give him a chip bag, so he can keep it safe in the middle of all of this. The last two are reluctant at first, but they finally comply. After that, Mickey tells the driver to take him to the airport as he gets into a limousine that is parked in the hotel's lot. As it happens, the whole thing was really Mickey's ruse to flip on his group and pocket the entire sum of money. After that, he starts to rejoice over his achievement, but he soon finds that his bag is actually full with chocolate chips rather than casino chips. The fact that he discovers the limo driver is actually one of Cole's guys exacerbates the situation. A flashback reveals that Ben had told Cole he would personally bring Mickey to them the last time Cole was beating him up. Cole promised to take Ben's and his team's photos out of the database in return for his assistance. They will be able to play in the casino rooms without restriction and withdraw their profits covertly thanks to this. In the present Cole meets Jill and Ben in the parking lot and compliments them on their excellent work and assistance in apprehending Mickey. The pair then makes an attempt to depart, but Cole stops them and demands the day's winnings. Ben declines, saying it was never part of their agreement, but Cole produces a gun and says he needs it because he's getting close to retirement. He thinks Ben is smart enough to figure out another way to get money. Not only does our hero not want to forfeit his life, but he also does not want to give away all of his earnings. As a result, he gently gives Jill the bag and departs. Mickey is brought to the same room where Ben was held captive a little while later. After a prolonged absence, Cole and his companions finally show up and greet him. Mickey tries to bargain swiftly and makes them an offer of money. Cole reports that he doesn't need his money because, with Ben's assistance, he has already accomplished his goal. The Blackjack crew reunites and meets Miles and Cam in a casino room in the next scene. It turns out that Ben's closest buddies share his aptitude for arithmetic. He's extended an invitation for them to come to the casino and play the gaming tables. The group gets together to play together and ultimately wins a sizable sum of money. The latest facial recognition software is eventually installed in every casino in Las Vegas. Cole and his crew are thus fired from their positions as security guards at casinos. When Ben tells the Harvard Dean about the entire encounter in the last scene, he inquires as two of his tail is striking enough. When the film ends, the Dean's jaw physically falls to the ground. 